you attend the event last year? Yes, I did. I was a part of the Full Figure Foxy competition where I won Miss Congeniality 2012. And why did you come back this year? I came back to win top prize. I came back to win first place for Full Figure Foxy, and I believe I can do that this year. And what does it, what does it um, feel like as an African-American woman to wear your hair natural? Um, coming from a Louisiana background, you know, your hair is your glory. So I came from a long line of Cajun women, long, relaxed hair. So I decided that, first of all, it's, it wasn't in my budget to keep doing the creamy crack. And then second, it allowed me to see that I'm more than just my hair. So, you know, not, behind, not hiding behind the hair, the, the perms, the relaxers, the long hours in the beauty shop. Just, it's okay to be who I am. And what did you learn from the event last year? Um, I always thought that I had self-confidence and it wasn't until the show that I realized how much self-confidence I didn't have. So when you're forced to get on that runway and stretch yourself, it kind of helps you to build, you know, self-confidence in regards to, you know, letting them have it, letting the crowd have it. Just, I don't know, it's just some, a swag that I developed. So I don't, I wouldn't quite say that I perfected, perfected this, this, the swag, but I have much more than what I did have last year. And if you had one thing to say to the women in Houston and the women around the world about this event, what would you say? It's okay to be happy nappy. It's okay. It's all right. Just work, you have to work with what you have. You know, I know that some people say it's not for everybody, but if you take time, you take patience, you get to know who you are, you get to know who, what your hair does and, and what it represents. It's, it represents the beginning, basically. This is, this, is where, this is what I was born with, so it is what it is. Just be confident, be you.